I just want to look at the bedrock and stuff in here. We think Derek's probably losing a lot of fine gold the way he's set up right now. Over in the cut, Detective Dodge investigates whether Derek's strategy of catching only coarse gold needs a rethink. You can see these gravels here, and then this is decomposed bedrock. That gold will sink over time when the gravels are moving with water. Gold always wants to find its way back to the center of the earth. It thinks that's its home. We'll take a pan of this and see what we see. So right now we're trying to make that gold do what it's done on bedrock over here, hopefully. And that's sink to the bottom of this pan. We use that to our advantage, though, because that's how we catch it in sluice boxes and other equipment. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colors. Ten. We've got ten colors in the pan. Some of them are so small that they're hard to see. So this shows me that going after that fine gold could possibly help him quite a bit in the future. You know, you look at this pan, you say, oh, well, you know, there's two cents worth of gold in it. But like the old saying goes, you take care of the pennies and the dollars take care of themselves. How's it going, guys? Hey, Freddie. Just in time. We're getting ready to weigh it up. Nice little cleanup. Yeah. Nice chunky stuff in there. Right now, Sarah. Three quarters yeah, of an ounce. I think a little over that. Yeah. You know. Weigh her up. Let's see what's there. Let's, Let's see the what it is. No, you guys go for it. To repay his loans, cover his running costs, and provide a down payment on a home for his family, Derek has a 500 ounce season goal. There. To hit this target, this four hour test run has to produce at least two ounces of gold. You ready? Yeah. It is pretty gold. It is. Yeah. 1.40. There's a lot of fine gold in there, Freddie. Yeah, there is. Well, but if we caught that, that probably means there's more in there. Oh, I, I agree. You know, and that was for a four hour run, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Well, let's go talk about it and see what we can figure out. Well, we'll see you later, man. OK, thanks I'll so much. You oh, you're welcome. Uh, you're welcome. Well, I appreciate it. If what they do helps me increase some percentages on the gold capture and they get a house this fall, makes the world a difference for my family. What do you think, Wano? We both know his biggest issue is he's got all that boulders. big material. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's got boulders going through the sluice box. But there's really nothing we can do to fix that. Not on that D-Rocker deck. You know, we don't have enough time here. We might as well just forget about that. What I think is uh, build an additional length of sluice on there. Yeah put some kind of punch plate over the top of it so there's an undercurrent box there. OK, uh, so I, I don't quite understand. How does that work, Freddy? So you cut a punch plate out, right? We've got our riffles underneath, right? Okay. And then that punch plate's just over the top of those riffles by, let's say, an inch. OK, so, so water so, depth's three inches so, in there, so right? Let's, uh, if, just to make sure I'm, I'm getting you right. So you're yeah. talking about having our riffles underneath like that, right? Yep. Our riffles, riffles are there. And carpets, yep. So our material's dumping in here. Yep. So and our then, riffles. Yep. And then we take this punch plate and we put it in right here over the top. So it only lets small material through, let's say 3 8 minus. OK. I like it. I've never done this before. That's kind of a cool idea. The riffles in Derek's sluice box create a vortex, which forces gold into the mats. But large rocks disrupt the flow, causing gold to wash out over the end of the sluice. Freddy's plan is to fit a new sluice box with punch plates to separate rocks from smaller material, allowing fine gold to settle in the carpets and riffles underneath. Hey, Derek. How we doing? Doing all right? Good, good. Well, what we're thinking is uh, adding about eight to nine feet of box on the end of here. OK. The box is going to be a little different. Okay. So it's going to be a sluice box that is added to this. But basically, what we're doing is we're going to have a screen on top of it, a punch plate, so that smaller material falls through and has a chance to get sluiced properly. OK. For that fine gold? Yes. Oh, man, getting those big rocks 
Yeah. The lemonade is going to be so huge. What we were thinking about here with your Hungarians. Yeah, we'll take yours and pull them out and make a little longer section. Okay. But different than those, right? Okay. They'll have different spacing. Interesting. Right there, you have no change. It's the same. Okay. So, and they're actually too tight, and that's why they're locking up like that. Okay. On you. So, sure, you see gold on top that looks all nice when you're done, but it can't go through it. So awesome. How can I help? <laughs> <laughs> and we're not 100% certain how well this is going to work with that punch plate on it, right? We're okay. in we're in uncharted territory yeah. here. Okay. But uh, it's just a thought we had, and I say nothing ventured, nothing gained. Huh? That's right. That's right. Yes. But we just don't have the time. And the, you know how many weeks it's going to take to rebuild your de-rocker oh, deck, right? Oh, man. Yes. Well, I've never heard of an under sluice before, really. So, I mean. Well, either uh, be heroes or zeros <laughs> on this one. Yeah. Awesome. If all you see is tail lights, it didn't work. That's, all right. Done. See you later. Gotta go. Gotta go. <laughs> gotta go. Our job here is done. We're done. <laughs> They've said it, it may or may not work. Up in my boneyard up there is about six different versions of sluice runs that I've tried and made and they haven't worked. So their reservations are valid and there's only one way to find out. Build it and try it. Well, I'll follow you up, huh? Sounds good. To hit Derek's target of 500 ounces, they need to see no less than a 30% increase on the first test. Yeah, I'm nervous and excited. Uh, let's see what we get. Oh, now I'm nervous. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just flop her in there. Freddie pens the material from the underflow sluice first to see if his punch plates worked. Moment of truth, guys. Mm -hmm. But look, you don't see any big rocks in it. Huh? Not one. Anything in this is something that I would have not caught. So we'll see if I'm due for a humbling lesson or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. The proof is in the pan. Yeah. There's some powder in there. Yeah. I caught it. Incredible. A little closer to maybe hitting my goal. It's definitely catching gold. We're back. Well, guys, it's dried up. Moment of truth, huh? That's the gold. Moment of yeah. truth. Wow. Go. Well, that's the gold from that new bottom sluice. 0 0.17. So five and a half grams. Five and a half that's grams. That's troy ounces. So that's material that would have never been sluiced would have been completely lost. It's 300 bucks right there. Yep. Four hour run, 300 yep. bucks. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah. Freddie and Juan's punch plate solution has added $750 per 10 hour day to Derek's gold total. This one fix could deliver an extra $75,000 across the season. It's pretty dang good. It's a game changer. Yeah but to make enough to become commercially viable and provide for his family. Derek needs to mine 500 ounces a season. Well, now for the rest of the gold. What did we do Wait last time in four hours? 1.4. 1.4 ounces. To hit that target, this gold weigh needs to deliver a minimum of two ounces. Okay, well, let's weigh it up. That looks good, that's 2.36. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Wow. That's an extra ounce, yeah. guys. And I'm just absolutely <laughs> blown away right now. Um, yeah. Stupid little changes, huh? Yeah. Wow. Not stupid. Wow. <laughs> Talented. That's almost a 70% increase, delivering an extra two and a half ounces a day. 
worth more than $4,000. This is literally a life-changing moment. Over the course of the season, Derek should get close to $1 million, more than enough to return his initial investment, buy a house for his family, and expand up the creek next year.